Hi, I'm Luke Zmolik with Benel Renovations. Today I'm going to show you how to add a door into an exterior brick wall with no brick or no drywall repair. I'd love to hear from you on information that you are seeking for your home. So join Benoa on Facebook and Twitter and become a fan. Tell your family and friends. Learn about new ways to reinvigorate and bring new life in areas of your home. Here are some of the tools you'll be needing for this project. A four foot ladder, some drop cloths, a shop back, some hand tools, a sawzall, a cordless drill with a quarter inch, 12 inch long masonry bit, a multi-purpose tool from Fine, a four foot level, a skill saw, small sledgehammer with the mason chisel, protective goggles, mask and earplugs, sawzall blades, wood and metal, a cord, flashlight, drill bits, screws and nails, and glue. Two items not on here are a mason saw and a wheelbarrow. Look for more videos in the future from Benoa. And all the information you see on my video is backed up on my blog at BenoaRenovations.com. The first thing you need to do is make sure you're putting your door into the correct location. If there's uh, potential bathroom areas with a lot of pipes, it may not be the best location. We've chosen this spot right here on this wall for our door. Let's go take a look this at the wall outside. right here, a bare brick wall. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot in the way. Of course, we're going to move all the furniture out of the way and lay down some drop cloths on the inside and outside to protect the home. phase of making sure that your door location is correct, what we're going to do is cut a small hole here at pretty much where you know the door is going to be above the baseboard because then we can feel up here and see if there's any kind of pipes or wires in the way because most of your, your trade things like pipes or wires are going to be toward the bottom and if we find something that may be a gas line or a water pipe, we may change the location to where to put this door. Uh, so we're going to cut a small hole here and feel up there and see what's there. If there's nothing there, then we're going to continue, and we'll cut a larger hole, not quite the exact rough opening we're going to use, but a larger hole to make sure that it's a good location before we start knocking out brick, because that's the last thing you want to do, is knock out brick and find out you, you made a bad decision. We're going to center it between the window and the corner here, and that's going to be our best location to put the door. I've got a mark here of center, and I'm just going to cut a hole about two foot wide here, and, and just a little bit up, so in case this doesn't work, there won't be that much drywall repair. So I'll get to work. But it makes a lot of dust, and be aware of that. Drywall dust can go anywhere. It can penetrate rooms beyond this one. So what I'm going to use here, being it's a, a finished place with carpet, finished room with carpet, is going to be a utility knife. It's the best way. Just score a line, and then continue to score the line deeper and deeper until you cut the whole hole out. Uh, we've got our uh, hole cut of our drywall. I wanted to explain one more thing before I go too far. Another reason why we use the knife is um, you don't want to go in there cutting with a, 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 drywall, a drywall saw cutting in there. And I'd hate for you guys to hit some electric wires and let's just redo that whole video. Do what? Why? <laughs> okay, we have our hole cut out here in the wall. And uh, I wanted to explain one more thing is the reason why we use the knife uh, instead of a drywall saw is because there could be some electric wires in there and you could be sawing and I'd hate for anyone watching this video to be using that saw and get there you and go. that's why we chose the knife and uh, we have the hole cut out we have our data box off we're going to take the rest of this out now and we can replace it if it doesn't work we have our insulation here and we're basically just going to reach up in here and try to feel if, we, if there's any other kind of wires or gas lines or something crazy in here which I don't I don't feel anything except for insulation and studs and that's a good thing so we'll continue and cut a bigger hole. And you notice how I make him do all the dirty jobs. I do the easy stuff. Cut cut out, and what we did was cut a hole in the exterior sheathing so we can get to the inside face of the brick. We mark a center point. We have 62 and a half. We're going to go to 31 and a quarter and we're going to Put us a mark here, and we're going to drill through one of these mortar joints so we can get a control spot of the door location on the outside in relation to the door, uh, door location on the inside. We drill the hole from the inside to the outside, and we have a drill bit now that we can leave here, and it's sticking to the outside wall. And now we have that point that we can measure off of for our. Uh, roof opening width and height of our door. 
So now we can get our measurement, once we know the bottom of our door, off of the drill bit that we have installed here to the outside wall, then we can go outside and get the exact height of where we're going to cut the top of the door open. Okay, now the rough opening as far as the width of your door and the height, if you have an exterior trim, you have to add it into your rough opening for this brick where you're going to cut it out. Our door does not have trim on the outside, so we have a perfect opening, and our rough opening is 34 inches wide. So if you'll pan down, James, we're going to go 17 inches both ways, and we want to make sure that we have a solid brick holding up that angle iron. So we pretty much hit right in the middle of this mortar joint, which is good. And if we go over to our 34, it hits in the same mortar joint, or this other mortar joint right here, which makes it pretty easy for us, so we can leave a solid brick to support our angle iron. If we mark the height of our door, on the inside we had 50 and a half to the center of the brick to the bottom of our door. If we go up to our top of our door, it's going to be right here. But what you want to do is you want to go to the next horizontal mortar joint to cut for your angle iron. So we're going to cut our brick right here. We're going to cut the whole section and then when you create this, uh, when you're cutting this brick, it's a good idea to put an awning over, over your head because this brick dust is going to spray everywhere and it does get pretty nasty. You don't want it blowing all over the house and the bushes and the bay window and everything else. So we protect it by putting an awning above so that it'll collect some of that brick dust. Okay, we now have our rough opening drawn on the wall. 34 by 83. We've got the horizontal line and the vertical line. We're ready to cut. We've got our uh, awning for protection, for home protection. And once you have your protection on, like I do, then you're ready to cut. Be careful. The one thing you don't want to do in cutting this brick is you do not want to score, you do not want to go past the top line, the horizontal line. You want to make sure you cut to the line and that's it. Right. Uh, cutting this brick is not for the uh, light at heart. Uh, we're using a brick saw here, brick mason saw, and after getting more gas and uh, another blade, we're going to get back after to finish uh, scoring these lines and getting that brick out of the way. Now believe me when I tell you, you have to cover every orifice of your body because this brick dust gets everywhere. start chipping and you want to do that uh, before you start taking the brick out. When you start tearing this brick out, we'll start from the middle, make a hole and then work our way out the outside. We have our starter hole. Now we're going to try to beat it from the inside out if we can to force the bricks out and we'll keep working our way around. It's that easy once you get the, the line stored. The part of the project is done. The brick, we got it all cut out, got the top course cleaned up. Got everything, all the brick out of here. We left the bottom course of bricks so we can take it out later after we get our door. Now we're just going to stick in whatever you have. Nails, screws, we're going to use sawzall blades. We're going to stick them in the ends of where the brick is. That's to mark your control lines on the inside so you can level up straight from there. And at the top so you know where to cut your drywall. 